Right now I want to show you the RAM-B-166-TAB2 which is the locking suction cup for the Tab2 cradle or the smaller tablet cradle by RAM. First things first you have here a suction cup base with standard size arm which is a 3 inch arm from ball center to ball center or socket to socket with a diamond head or a diamond cradle plate connection. So what you need to do with this is take the ball off here and move this out of the way for now because we need to connect this diamond plate to the back of this cradle. So you can see on the back of the cradle here you have these two holes. That's where we are going to connect this diamond plate straight on there. So this is the hardware that comes with the cradle and we need to take out a set of screws. There's actually six screws in this set. Um, the smaller ones and larger ones are for different diamond plate, the plastic versions. So I've taken the middle set here and all we need to do is drop one through the diamond plate end and into the back of the HOL2 cradle. Now what you want to do is just make sure the screw isn't too long and doesn't stick through uh, the upper part or through the hole so much that it would scratch your uh, tablet in the cradle. So that one there is the right length. Then you drop a nut in there because there's a hex hole there that will hold the nut. Then we just simply screw in that screw and do the same for the other side. So what we're doing is essentially just putting a ram B size ball onto the back of this cradle allowing it to connect to the uh, suction cup mount pieces. So there we go, there's the other um, side of the diamond plate. Now the process for this is exactly the same if you had a plastic one or pretty much any mount you're going to make with this device, uh, with this cradle, to any RAM mount, you will need to put a ball onto the back of the cradle first. So make sure if you ever buy a mount that it has a diamond plate on one end so you can connect it to your cradle if your cradle doesn't already have it. So there we go, that's as simple as it gets. You just tighten this up now so you can get that arm as tight or in any location you want lock down the suction cup and now you can swivel this around and maneuver this however you want so you can imagine on your windshield you can quickly flip from portrait to landscape very easily um, change the angle point it to the passenger whatever you're doing relative to how you're using your tablet and then with that cradle itself you just grab a tablet in this case here I've got the Galaxy Tab just slide this open, close it up, and there we have it, the cradle there for the Galaxy Tab held in place with the locking suction cup and the Tab 2 cradle.